What's going on guys? This is Jake Bully with Barbend.com and today we're going to be doing a best cross trainer roundup for 2019. We did one of these videos before which I'll link up there and it was a huge success. People love that we broke down all these cross trainers into different sections and categories and this year we have more shoes and even more categories. We have 12 categories. So things ranging from best for squats, best for deadlifts, best for crossfit, best for the price and so much more will break into this video. Now without further ado, let's dive in to our first section. All right, the best cross trainer for men has to go to the Reebok CrossFit Nano 9 solely because this is a slightly wider model. So if you do have a slightly wider foot and you want stability and versatility, the Nano 9 is a good bet. My second pick for men is the Under Armour Project Rock 2. Now it's worth noting that this isn't a strict cross trainer in the sense of like it's great for CrossFit workouts specifically. It's kind of an all-in-one trainer that you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis or for your more lighter runs or just more casual workouts. It has a stable tri-base outsole right here, has some flex roofs up here on the toe, so it's very comfortable, very reactive, but it might not be the best shoe for maximal lifts. However, if you want a cross trainer to wear on day-to-day, -day, the Project Rock 2 I think is a pretty good pick for men. The best cross trainer for women. Now obviously I'm not a lady, so we had some of our women athlete correspondents give us feedback on which models they like best, and our top pick goes to the Innovate F-Lite 235 V3. This model is incredibly form-fitting to the foot, it's incredibly versatile with the fascia band throughout the foot, so it feels very comfortable, but most importantly, the last of this model is made to be a little bit slimmer, which is a lot more accommodating for most women. Our second pick goes to the Nike Metcon 4XD. Now you might be wondering, why not the 5, why the 4XD. Well, the 5 actually has a slightly wider last up here in the toe box, so it's made to be a tad bit wider. So on the topic of a slim fitting shoe that's durable and stable, the Nike Metcon 4XD takes our pick as number two as the best cross trainer for women. All right, the best cross trainer for the money. Now let's note that the way I scaled this was on the overall shoe's performance and the price that they're priced at now. I don't really care about the super cost efficient model that can't really support a lot of weight. I care about the model that can support weight but is also pretty cost efficient. And for that reason, I'm giving my top pick to the Metcon 4. It's an older model, it's often on sale, and it is a pretty consistent shoe when it comes to just performance in the gym and supporting weight. Now my second pick is gonna be the Nano 8. It's an older model, it's usually on sale, and you could usually find a really good deal on these and they perform really well in the gym. There are more cost conscious models out there, but but when it comes to just pure performance and how they excel, I think these are the two better bets because they're gonna be on sale, they're older models, and you can usually find a really great deal on them. All right, so when it comes to the best cross trainer for CrossFit or more functional fitness workouts, in reality, I think every shoe up here that is a cross trainer can work to support your needs. Every shoe has subtle construction nuances that will make it slightly better for certain activities. However, let's see what the top two are in my opinion. The number one pick is gonna go to the Reebok Nano 9. I like this model because they made the last slightly slimmer so the toe box is still wide enough to accommodate toe splay, but it does form fit a little bit better if you have a slightly more narrow foot. I love the split outsole and how supportive it is, and I actually like that they put this dual density foam up here because it gives it a little bit of more of an accommodating feel for lighter runs and jumps. Our second pick goes to the Noble Trainer. I think this is a very consistent shoe and the super fabric outer construction is durable. So if you want consistency, Noble Trainer is a good pick. Now again, it is worth noting that I think every one of these shoes up here can work for cross training or more CrossFit workouts. However, it really comes down to your individual needs and how you train the most with your model. All right, the best cross trainer for your more agility focused workout. So you're performing, let's say, speed ladders, you're doing a little bit more of like a plyometric based workout. My top pick, it needs to go to the Under Armour Hover Rise. This shoe is incredibly accommodating for a lot of different activities, feels very light on the foot, and it's very reactive to different jumps and agility movements. My second pick is the Innovate F-Lite 235 V3. Now we mentioned this early in the video, but this is an incredibly form-fitting shoe. The fascia band on the outsole makes it incredibly comfortable and it kind of almost gives off a barefoot feeling. So if you like to really grip the ground and almost have like nothing on your foot when doing agility workouts, the Innovate model is a good second bet. All right, so the best cross trainer for stability is gonna have to be the Nike Metcon 5. The outsole is incredibly solid, and there's a strong TPU layer back here in the heel, so if you're trying to move big weight, the Metcon 5 can support it. Our second pick and runner up is the Noble Trainer. The outsole is consistent, the midsole itself is consistent, and I really like how this shoe supports weight and gives you a nice, firm, level, planted foot when moving any form of squat, deadlift, power clean, you name it. 
Now, it is worth knowing that the high top Noble serves the same purpose when it comes to stability. And also the Metcon 4XD is a close runner up on the Metcon 5 when it comes to just being similar in nature with how stable they are. So my top two picks for stability, Nike Metcon 5 and Noble Trainer. All right, the best cross trainer for jumping. Note that this is gonna be more of your, like your focused workouts, like classes that you're gonna be doing a lot of bounding or a lot of jumping in. My favorite pick is the Mizuno TC01, solely because it's incredibly comfortable and accommodating, especially for jumping workouts. It has COB technology, which is this firm layer of like beads almost, or air clusters in between the outsole and the insole right here. So you can really get a good grip on the ground when it comes to balance. My second pick for jumping is the Under Armour Hover Rise. And similar to how this performs performance and agility. It's very accommodating and reactive to different movements. And I think it's a great pick with jumping because it's just overall comfortable with absorbing landings. So my top two picks for jumping, once again, are the Mizuno TC01 and the Under Armour Hover Rise. All right, the best cross trainer for squats has to be the Nike Metcon 5. Now that probably doesn't come as a huge surprise since it was our best pick for stability. The strong TPU heel, the firm outsole, I think this is a great model for supporting weight, especially in the back squat. Our second pick for squats is the Reebok Nano 8. This model is stable, has a firm four millimeter heel to toe drop, a firm outsole, and the toe box is made to be slightly wider. So if you really like to splay those toes and grip the ground in your squats, the Nano 8 is is a good bet. And it's also great because this model's been out for a longer time period. You could probably find them on sale on Reebok's site. They often have sales on this model. So if you're looking for a budget cross trainer shoe for squats, the Nano 8 is a good bet. Best cross trainer for deadlifts. Now note that you can deadlift in all these cross trainers. However, this is for the individual that wants that more like synonymous true deadlift shoe with their cross trainer. So my top pick has to be the Noble High Top Trainer. I love deadlifting in a high top converse, and this gives me that feel, but also gives me that slight edge of versatility with its overall construction and design. My second pick for deadlifts has to be the Nike Metcon 5, and that's again solely because it's so stable, and it is designed slightly wider than the Metcon 4, so you can splay those toes a little bit better in this shoe. So those are my top two picks for deadlifts and when it comes to cross trainers. Now it's worth noting that the Nike Metcon 4 XD and Metcon 4 will be just as stable as this model. And if you don't like the high top feel of this trainer, you can go with the low top trainer that Noble makes and it'll be very similar in performance. But if you're like myself and you like having that high top feel and extra ankle support when pulling weight, the high top trainer is my go-to. All right, the best cross trainer for day-to-day -day wear. Now, it's worth noting that you could technically wear all these shoes on a day-to-day. -day. However, I define day-to-day -day by being somewhat comfortable for slightly longer durations of time. So I like to compare that to my commute, which I'm walking three to four miles a day up and down subway stairs. So that being said, my top pick goes to the Under Armour Project Rock 2. I think this is the most comfortable model up here for the most part, and it's got an extremely comfortable hover midsole, which makes it super reactive and comfortable for longer walks and going up and down stairs. My second pick for day-to-day -day wear is gonna be the Noble High Top Trainer. Now. It's a little bit counterintuitive because it's not as comfortable as a Project Rock 2. However, I like the aesthetics of the shoe and I like that it's easy to clean. So on rainier days, when I'm just going about my day to day, I'll wear this shoe because I can get it home, clean it off if there's any mud. And it's a nice model just to wear into work because it looks pretty normal as well. So it doesn't look like a dedicated trainer, so to speak. So my two day to day picks come down to the Under Armour Project Rock 2 and the Noble High Top Trainer. Again, you could technically wear any of these shoes on a day to day basis, but these are my two based on the rationale I provided. The best cross trainer for more lighter runs, so three miles and below, or your more class focused workouts that are including more cardio movements. My top pick goes to the Under Armour Hover Rise. Again, accommodating for multiple activities, very reactive and very lightweight. It feels very comfortable on your foot for longer periods of time, especially when doing more cardio based movements. My second pick for lighter runs and more cardio based movements, so like classes, has to be the Innovate F Lite 235 V3. Now, this is a very different model than the Under Armour Hover Rise, and I wanted to provide a little bit of a different context for this model for somebody who likes having that more barefoot feel and being really low to the ground. This is not gonna be the most comfortable in longer runs. However, if you like having that more like athletic fitting shoe, almost that feels like a cleat that's very tight to the foot, I think this is a good bet and it's very accommodating and it allows you to really grip that floor in any form of cardio-based movement. 
The best cross trainer for wide or more flat feet has to be the Reebok CrossFit Nano 8. This shoe's last is the widest up here of all these cross trainers, and I think that it's super accommodating for wider or more flat feet. My second pick is the Reebok CrossFit Nano 9, and that probably doesn't come as a huge surprise because Nano, in my opinion, make the wider last shoes compared to the other models up here. So if you have a wider or more flat foot, I would highly recommend looking into the Nano line. It'll probably accommodate your needs a little bit better than some of the other ones up here. That wraps up our best cross training roundup of 2019. Now it's worth noting there are a lot of great shoes that didn't make our list. And if you want more options, check out our older video. A lot of those shoes are still in the market and actually marked down because they're a little bit older and they'll give you more variety. Hopefully this video helped direct you in some way or another to help you find your best shoe for your needs. And if you're on the fence about any of these models, we have individual reviews going in depth on every single one, which will definitely help you out when making your selection. So if you want more on cross trainers and what goes into every review, visit barbin.com to learn more.